a couple on the play. It'll be second down and 12 from the Messina 42-yard line. And there you get a look at Rick Bromley, and he was the other recipient of the Coca-Cola player of the game in that uh, Malone Husky contest. Tennessee is back to pass. He's looking downfield across, and he has a man, Rick Bromley. Bromley with the reception and a big one. And it's good for another OFA first down. So the Blue Devils get the passing game going once again, and we'll have a chance to look at it one more time. Tennessee, the fake to Blevins, looks downfield. And coming across and picking up the completion, number 22, Rick Bromley for the OFA Blue Devils. First and 10 of the Messina 27-yard line. Fantasy in the shotgun. And the give to Mark Blevins. And Blevins trying to get some room outside. And I think everybody was looking at uh, Fantasy to throw it. An excellent gift to Blevins. It looked as if Fennessey still had the ball and was going to throw it. And he had everybody in the place fooled on that one. Second down and five from the Messina 22-yard line. And off. Blasco on the carry. And Bill Blasco Here's to have another first down. And Bill Blasco, as we mentioned, he has 73 attempts for 396 yards this season, two touchdowns. And averaging five and a half yards a carry. He's another one who's very dangerous when he gets the ball. First and 10 from the Messina 15. And the handoff, Mark Blevins, and Blevins! Up the middle with the feet going forward fast. Up to about the five yard line. So Mark Blevins. Almost like a bulldozer in there, just pushing players out of, a, out of his way as he goes. 2.15 remaining to play in the first quarter. No score, but the OFA Blue Devils are threatening. Fantasy, I formation, and the handoff. And the Red Raiders have got that one read very nicely on there. Probably on the carry, but not before coming up to make the stop. Number 43, Andy Thomas, and number nine, John Rochford, in on the tackle, and the Red Raiders had that one read perfectly out there, so good defensive play by the Red Raiders. Clock is down to 135 remaining to play in the first quarter. And there is Rick Brumley, third and five from the Messina 10. Fantasy rolling out, looking down the right side. The pass in the end zone, just out of the reaches of number five, Bobby Oates. And good coverage on the play by the Messina Red Raiders. Uh, John Rochford right along with Oates. Almost step for step into the end zone, but it does stop the clock at 114. Many to play in the first if you're just joining us. We're at Ogdensburg Free Academy in Ogdensburg, New York. And the Messina Red Raiders and the OFA Blue Devils. A key Tier 1 playoff game. Fourth and five. But they will attempt the field goal. And the kick is up. And it's good. So, Blue Devils strike first with a field goal from Tom Austin. And our score now, the OFA Blue Devils three and the Messina Red Raiders nothing with 109 remaining to play in the first quarter. Yeah. 
Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest will go on to meet the winner of the Watertown Cyclone Potsdam Sandstoner Contest. Very important game being played in Section 7 as well. Uh, going on between Peru and Beekmantown. And the kick, as you see, up and good for Tom Austin. And now we are at 3 to nothing. Of course, uh, more than likely, that game there in Section 7 will determine the Super Bowl opponent as both those two teams of powerhouses, both 7-0 and in Section 7 right now. Of course, somebody has got to lose that game, so both teams may not stay undefeated. Player along the sideline, I can't quite get a look at it. Now the Blue Devils will kick it off with 109 remaining to play in the first quarter. And the kick is away from Tom Austin. And Ryan McCarthy with the ball trying to find some room there. And McCarthy gets across the 25 out to around the 27-yard line. And that is where the Red Raiders will take over. First and 10. Well, a program note, don't forget, a lot of soccer playoff action coming up for you. High school soccer action in both girls and boys. And there's only one place to watch it. And that is right here on Edwards Production Sports. Stay with us as we continue to give you great high school sports coverage in the playoffs in all sports. Some of the crowd here at Hogginsburg Free Academy enjoying tonight's game. And the handoff up the middle. Game maybe a couple on the Drew Walkie on the carry. Well, apparently the Blue Devils uh, stopping the Red Raiders at the line of scrimmage. So it'll be second and 10 from the Red Raider 27-yard line. 36 seconds remaining to play in the first quarter. Second down, and Hubert still at quarterback. Monticelli coming in motion, and Monticelli trying to get around the corner. And Jason, gain of about four on the play. So it will be third down. And it appears uh, third and about uh, well, we'll have to see what's going on here. Well, they they have clock has run out, so it stopped for a second there, but apparently they started again and I wasn't paying attention. But that'll do it for the first quarter. And our score on the Kentucky Fried Chicken scoreboard, OFA 3 and Messina Nothing back with second quarter action right after this. The Bears Den on Route 37 in Hogansburg is your one-stop headquarters for gas, diesel, propane, Camp 2 racing fuel, and delicious food. The Bears Den restaurant is open from 6 a.m. to midnight, seven days a week. Shop their gift shop special now in effect, and remember, Canadian money at par on all video rentals all summer long. The Bears Den has an expanded trucker's lounge for your convenience. And remember, racers, you can pick up your Camp 2 racing fuel at the Eastern and Western Door convenience stores. And all your grocery needs, too. The Bears Den, Route 37, Hogansburg, the Eastern and Western Door convenience stores located on both ends of the reservation. Nothing. our score on the Kentucky Fried Chicken scoreboard, OFA on top in this Tier 1 playoff matchup between the OFA Blue Devils and the Messina Red Raiders. Red Raiders have it, third and seven at their own 30-yard line. Hubert trying to find some room to pass. And heaves it downfield, and it is intercepted. And Bobby Oates coming up with it. And 
takes it back to around the, just the other side of the Messina 40, and uh, we'll watch and see where they spot the ball. So the OFA Blue Devils will take over from the Messina 39-yard line. You're just joining us. We are just underway in the second quarter. 3-0 our score. Blue Devils on top, and there is Bobby Oates. And he has made some key plays in the past couple of weeks for the Blue Devils. Levins comes in motion. Here is Fennessy. He's back to pass, looking downfield. And went down the sideline, and the pass uh, apparently was intended for Bobby Oates, but uh, apparently Oates going the other way. And I think uh, Coach Tony Diagostino is looking for some intentional grounding there, and uh, I don't believe he's going to get it. So it will be second and 10 from the Red Raider 39 yard line. And off, Blasco with the ball. Bill Blasco. Second effort may have gained him another couple of yards. And it will move the marker. It'll be third down and five. Thomas in on the tackle for the Santa Red Raiders. Eleven twelve remaining to play in the second quarter. Fennessy looking to pitch it out, gets it to Blevins, and a good defensive play by the Messina Red Raiders, big time. John Rochford in on the tackle, number nine, and also number 35, Brian McDonald in on the tackle as well. So the Red Raiders with a great defensive play there, and it will be fourth down and 11 for the OFA Blue Devils. Huge defensive play there, great one by the Red Raiders. So the ball is at the Red Raider 41-yard line. We'll wait and see what the Blue Devils decide to do. Tom Austin is back to kick. Rochford is uh, dropping deep. The ball came to Fennessy and then pitched back to Austin. And the ball hits and takes an off a bounce, and they pick it up, and the Red Raiders will be starting at the four-yard line. A beautiful kick by Tom Austin. The ball came down and hit at around the one-yard line and then kicked back to around the four-yard line. So Austin with an excellent kick. And the Red Raiders will be starting deep in their own territory. First and ten at their own four-yard line. A brisk but moisture-free evening here at Augensburg Free Academy. 9.59 remaining to play in the second quarter. 3-0, OFA on top. And a handoff there. Maybe good for a couple of yards. It's Drew Wonky, number 12, on the carry for the... Cena Red Raiders, it'll be second down. As we mentioned, a brisk evening, but uh, the temperatures tonight they are predicting will get down to around the 35 to 40 degree mark. But just the same jacket weather and perfect for football. And a fumble on the snap, and a scramble for it. It looks like the Red Raiders are still able to hang on to it. And they do, as it looks as if Matt Hubert is able to recover the fumble. 
A little miscommunication with the snap. And it will be third down for the Messina Red Raiders. Ball is spotted and around the six yard line. Hand off, Jason Monticelli trying to get some running room. In on the tackle for the Blue Devils, Eric LeHue, number 21. Eric doubles as a quarterback, too, as well for the OFA Blue Devils. So it'll be fourth down and four. And the punting unit will come on for the Messina Red Raiders. Good job defensively by the OFA Blue Devils, but it all goes back to that kick of Tom Austin's. Bobby Oates is dropping back to around the Red Raider 40-yard line. John Rochford will kick it for the Messina Red Raiders. And a high kick. Oates will run up a little bit and take it. And Oates... Escapes one tackle. And a penalty marker went flying. And we'll wait and see what the preliminary call was. Oaks took it at about the Red Raider 38-yard line. About an eight-yard uh, run back. There is Bobby Oaks. Utility player for the OFA Blue Devils. It looks as if the penalty will go against the OFA Blue Devils, and it'll be a big one as it's marched all the way out to the Red Raider 48 yard line. So a penalty against the OFA Blue Devils. 7.36 remaining to play in the second quarter. 3-0 Blue Devils up on top. They have it first and 10 at their own, or at the Red Raider 48-yard line. And the handoff goes to Rick Bromley, but a penalty marker comes flying in, and we'll wait and see what the indication is. It may be motion on the Blue Devils. And that is exactly what it is. Motion penalty called on the OFA Blue Devils, and that will march it back to five more. So that'll be first and 15. And the ball now rests at the OFA 48-yard line. 7.34 remaining to play in the second quarter. Benicia quarterback. And again, the flags go flying, and I think it'll be another five yards against the OFA Blue Devils. So the Blue Devils, a little itchy to get going now. And again, motion penalty against the OFA Blue Devils, and the Blue Devils decide to call a timeout, and Coach Ron Johnson is coming all the way out. To find out what the problem is. So, so we have a break of the action with 7.33 remaining to play in the second OFA on top 3-0. Back after this. Dillingham Jones and Sissel is a family-owned and operated insurance business that's serviced the community of Ogdensburg for over 100 years. We offer a full line of insurance coverages through many national companies such as Allstate, USF&G, Royal, New York Casualty, and Selective Insurance Company, to name a few. Stop by and see our friendly staff at 402 Ford Street, Ogdensburg, or give us a call at 393-2190. Dillingham, Jones, and Sissel, because things happen. And a full moon usually means tricks and treats this time of year. Halloween, not too far away. No tricks and treats here. 3-0 our score, OFA, leading Messina. And Fennessy picks it up, trying to make something out of that. 
So the Blue Devils find themselves going in the wrong direction fast here. So Villeneuve on the tackle, but the OFA Blue Devils are back now around the 40 yard line, just inside their own 40. And it'll be second down and forever. Second and 22 to be exact. Fennessy is back to pass, looking long downfield. Rochford stepping up and almost catching the ball, just the same Ben Killian for the OFA Blue Devils. John Rochford almost timing that one perfect for the OFA Blue Devils. Stepping up in there, almost picking it off, but uh, it came to Ben Killian and Killian was almost able to hang on to it. Third and 22 from the OFA 40-yard line. Fennessy from the shotgun. Fennessy looking long, has Oaks on the run. And he's got it! And Bobby Oaks with a tremendous catch! Down to the Red Raider 20-yard line, Bobby Oaks. And we'll get a chance to look at that one once again. Second and 22, or, and Bobby Oaks is able to grab it. What a grab by Bob Oaks. And Oaks puts the Blue Devils in great field position, first and 10 at the Red Raider 20. Fennessy looking downfield for Oaks again and just off his fingertips as Oaks goes into the end zone. So a speedy Bobby Oaks has lit a huge fire underneath these OFA Blue Devils here as Fennessy and Oaks trying to hook up. And he goes to the sideline for a bit of a rest. Second and 10 from the Red Raider 20. And the handoff goes to Bromley. And Bromley trying to find room. He is met by John Rochford, number nine, and number 35, Brian McDonald for the Messina Red Raiders. Rick Bromley, number 22 for the Blue Devils. Bromley uh, also had a great game in that uh, Malone Husky game as well as uh, Mark Blevins did in the rushing department. Fennessy from the shotgun. Fennessy back to pass looking for Bromley and Bromley has it. And Bromley down to the one year no touchdown. So Bromley scoots inside the post, and it's the OFA Blue Devils 10 and the, or excuse me, nine, and the Messina Red Raiders nothing as Bromley in with a touchdown, just making it inside the post. So a big pass from Fennessy to Rick Bromley. And Bromley goes in for the touchdown. And Tom Austin will come in and try to now make it 10 to nothing. And the kick is up. And it's good. But now the score is 10 to nothing OFA with 5.39 remaining to play in the second quarter. And we'll get a chance to take a look at that beautiful touchdown pass from Fennessy. So Rick Bromley and Bromley with some fancy footwork at the end is able to dance into the end zone for the touchdown. And watch the concentration here on Rick Bromley after he receives the pass from Fennessy. Bromley looks where he is, 
sees that he's only got a little ways to go, takes the hit, but is still able to get in for the touchdown. And Tom Austin with the extra point after, makes it 10 to nothing with 5.39 remaining to play in the second quarter. And we hope you're enjoying our coverage here on Edwards Production Sports from Augensburg Free Academy in Augensburg, New York. Tier one playoff action between the Blue Devils and the Messina Red Raiders. There you see our score on the Kentucky Fried Chicken scoreboard if you're just joining us. 10-0, OFA. There's John Rochford. Always dangerous when John touches the ball. Back with him, I believe, is Ryan McCarthy, number 31, as Austin will tee it up. And Austin, a line drive kick. McCarthy going over to get it. And Ryan McCarthy has it. And McCarthy may get away. And the tackle by Fennessey, or McCarthy was gone. But Ryan McCarthy with a big run back there and puts the Red Raiders in excellent field position. So an excellent run back by Ryan McCarthy for the Messina Red Raiders, and that will definitely light a spark underneath the Red Raider offense, I'm sure. First and 10 from the OFA 48-yard line. And off, up the middle, Drew Wonky with the ball. Bill Blasco in on the tackle, along with Tim Cook, number 32, for the OFA Blue Devils. And there is Drew Wonky. Wonky with a pickup of about four on the play. Second and six from the Blue Devil 44-yard line. So far, Drew Wonky having a couple of great games right in a row here. Second and six. And off, Jason Monticelli. And Monticelli... They gave him a yard on the play, and on the tackle was number 21, Eric LaHue for the OFA Blue Devils. That'll be third and four for the Messina Red Raiders. Hubert has a hard time with the snap, and the Blue Devils have it. Hubert having a hard time hanging on to the ball after the snap. It appeared to be just on the end of his fingertips, and he was unable to hang on to it. And the OFA Blue Devils are in business once again, and we'll get a chance to see it once again. You take a look here, Hubert just got it on the end of his fingertips, then it slipped right out of his hands. And coming along and picking it up for the OFA Blue Devils, number 76, Joe Binion. First and 10, Blue Devils. Fennessey is back to pass. He is looking long for Oaks, and it is picked off. John Rochford, who finally comes up with a little bit of revenge, is able to finally beat Oaks out of the ball. And John Rochford gets the ball back on the interception, and the Red Raiders now are in business once again, but they are deep in their own territory. But a big defensive play for John Rochford, and uh, as I mentioned uh, at the top of the show, he, he definitely is one to watch on defense. He has really helped out that uh, Red Raiders secondary. He goes to clean the cleats off. So the Red Raiders in business, first and 10 from their own seven yard line. And
handoff goes straight up the middle. A little wonky, and he refuses to go down. Wonky finally gets up and uh, walks away. That'll be second down and eight for the Red Raiders. Looks like they've uh, respotted the ball here on me. Maybe second down and six. I spoke myself there. For the Messina Red Raiders. Ball resting at the Red Raider 12. And off, Jason Monticelli coming to the near side. And waiting right there for him was Eric LeHue, number 21, but good pursuit also by uh, number 28, Mark Blevins, as well. Jason Monticelli, there he is, number 21. 190 pound halfback. Monticelli has had quite the success with the Messina Red Raiders. And excellent, excellent run. So it'll be third down and four from the Red Raider 13 yard line. Hubert, handoff inside. And the Blue Devils are already there as McCarthy trying to find some room, but uh, Tim Cook and Bill Blasco happened to come along and put a stop to that. So, a timeout by the OFA Blue Devils. 2.04 remaining to play in the second quarter, and our score, OFA Blue Devils 10, and the Messina Red Raiders nothing. Breaking the action. We'll step aside. Back after this. Mmm, can you smell it? Kentucky Fried Chicken, now oven-roasted tender roast chicken, and the Colonel's original and extra crispy chicken. And how about their chunky chicken pot pies? And don't forget the fixins, coleslaw, mashed potatoes, potato wedges, and choose from cornbread, garlic bread, or biscuits. Friendly service, a convenient drive through or eat in their beautiful facility. Backed by popular demand, buffalo-style wings, hot and mild. Kentucky Fried Chicken, 232 Main Street in Messina. They do chicken right. The sights and sounds of Ogdensburg, New York. Just a little ways from us here at Ogdensburg Free Academy High School. 2-0-4 remaining to play in the second quarter. And our score, the Blue Devils 10 and the Red Raiders nothing. So that'll be fourth down. John Rochford ready to kick it away and the Blue Devils were up and they blocked it. A scramble for it. And the Blue Devils have it. So the Blue Devils come up successful and are able to block the punt of John Rochford. And they will take over in excellent field position. First and ten. So the Blue Devils, special teams coming in and blocking it. And we'll have to see who got a hand on it. Rochford is back to kick, and a whole lot of them coming. It looked like Bill Blasco got a hold of the ball. But the Blue Devils come up successful and are in excellent field position. First and 10 at the Red Raider three-yard line. Blasco on the carry, looking for the end zone. Touchdown. Now number 41, Bill Blasco goes in for the touchdown, and it is now 16 to nothing in favor of the OFA Blue Devils. Number 41, Bill Blasco in for the touchdown, but setting it up was the block punt. And Tom Austin will come in to kicks the, kick the extra point. The kick is up. And it's good. 
So the score with 155 remaining to play in the second quarter. The OFA Blue Devils 17. And the Messina Red Raiders, nothing. And we'll get a chance now to take a look at that touchdown by Bill Blasco. Blasco uh, going into the end zone to make it 16 to nothing. And then, of course, Tom Austin coming back with a kick to make it 17 to nothing. Here's the handoff to Bill Blasco. And Blasco. Even though he was tackled by number 89, Marty Thomas still gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And we'll watch it once again. Big hole opening up for Blasco as he goes right down through and in for the touchdown. A three yard carry. And that made it 16 to nothing. And then Tom Austin teed it up and made it 17 to nothing. Once again, Austin will tee it up as you get a look at the Good crowd on hand here at Augensburg Free Academy for this tier one playoff game between the Blue Devils and the Red Raiders. Austin kicks it away. It's a very short kick. Coming up to get it, though, is Rochford. John Rochford trying to get around to the near side. Find some room and finally brought down by Mark Levin. So Rochford is able to get the ball up to around the Red Raider 30-yard line, and that is where the Red Raiders will take over first and 10 with 146 remaining to play in the half. And our score, the OFA Blue Devils 17, and the Messina Red Raiders nothing on the Kentucky Fried Chicken scoreboard. We know we have a six there, but we will make haste and change that for you. You know there's a lot of people at home keeping track. <laughs> 17 to nothing, our score. OFA 17, Messina nothing. Ryan McCarthy can't hang on to it. And McCarthy dives back on it again and... McCarthy having a hard time hanging on to the football there and... Joe Binion now almost in the right place at the right time again. You're just joining us. We're at Augensburg Free Academy, OFA 17, Messina nothing. There's tier one playoff game. I'm Jamie Davis. 112 remaining to play in the half. Second down at 14. And a fumble on the play. And a scramble for it. And the Blue Devils say they have it. We'll wait and see for the official. And it'll be third down, so the, apparently the Red Raiders able to come up with it. A premature call by the Blue Raiders defense, but uh, the Red Raiders will hang on to it. But it will be third and 18 from the Red Raider 26-yard line. And the Red Raiders uh, apparently Having a little bit of a problem uh, hanging on to the ball here. And it appears the Red Raiders. Uh, and a fumble again. Apparently uh, some miscommunication between the. Uh, miscommunication in the handoff and the OFA Blue Devils have it. So with 26 seconds remaining to play. In the second quarter, the Blue Devils have the ball. Around the, near, very near the 20 yard line. We'll call it the Red Raider 21 yard line, first and 10. Fantasy from the shotgun, looking to throw it. Tended for Oaks and it's picked off. And McCarthy, it looked like, on the interception for the Messina Red Raiders. So the Red Raiders get it back once again as Fennessey. Uh, picked off twice now. So the Red Raiders get it back once again.
Hubert coming back into the game once again, uh, getting some instructions from Coach Tony Diagostino. Of course, uh, Coach Diagostino is in his 16th season with the Messina Red Raiders. First and 10, Red Raiders at their own 20. Wonky. And Drew Wonky finds some room. And a huge run by Drew Wonky as he gets it across the 45-yard line to around the 46-yard line. So a big carry by Drew Wonky for the Messina Red Raiders. And Drew Wonky, once the hole opens, it's a big one. And Wonky takes advantage of it. Breaking the action, 17-0, OFA will be back right after this. We are at Ogdensburg Free Academy, Ogdensburg, New York, and a crisp, clear evening. Perfect evening for football, eight seconds remaining to play in the second quarter in our score. The OFA Blue Devils, 17, and the Messina Red Raiders, nothing on the Kentucky Fried Chicken scoreboard. I'm Jamie Davis. Very happy to have you along with us here at Edwards Production Sports for Tier 1 playoff action. First and 10 from the Red Raider 43-yard line. And... Monticelli on a carry there. Three seconds remaining to play in the second quarter. The Red Raiders called timeout. Remember, once again, the winner of this game will take on the winner of the Potsdam Sandstoner Watertown Cyclone matchup in the Tier 1. Of course, the Tier 2 playoffs going on as well. St. Lawrence Central Larry's taking on the Governor Wildcats, the Governor, and the Malone Huskies taking on the Canton Golden Bears in the Tier 2. A look at uh, along the sideline of the Red Raiders. And that is Chris Gushaw. Number 24 for the Messina Red Raiders, and there is some of the crowd here at OFA. Second and 12. Rochford is back to pass, going long, intended for McCarthy. And there to break it up is number 21, Eric LeHue. Ryan McCarthy going long before the end of the half, and that will do it for the first half. And it has been all OFA so far, as they have the lead. It is the Blue Devils 17, and the Red Raiders nothing. You're watching NAC. Football playoff action on Edwards Production Sports. Looking for a brand new or used vehicle? CM Ford is the dealer to buy from. The overall experience of purchasing a vehicle from CM Ford is sure to be a satisfying one. Our excellent sales staff will help you choose the proper car or truck to fit your budget. And the service department will keep you running through the use of a well-trained technical staff and state-of-the-art diagnostic tools. Also, don't forget c and Ford's full-service body shop, which can help you keep your investment looking new. Our body shop can handle all collision damage repair as well as glass replacement. So, for total satisfaction before and after the sale, stop into c and Ford. East Orvis Street in Messina. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Cold. You frozen yet? Just the surface. You're a little soft in the middle. We're cracking up back here, boss. I'm frozen first. I'm frozen down and frozen. Anything but Coca-Cola and we melt. I love it. Give me that Coca-Cola. Oh, you fool out. Hey, nice ceiling fan. That's Coca-Cola. Ooh, that's it. Oh, 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 oh. If you would like to purchase a VHS copy of this program, you can do so by sending a check or money order for $20 plus tax 
and $5 for shipping and handling to WEPT TV 24, P.O. Box 5145, Messina, New York, 13662. Or for faster delivery, call 315-769-0642. Sorry, CODs not accepted. Second half action, ready to get underway here at Augensburg Free Academy. Perfect, perfect evening for football. And McCarthy will do the honors. Bobby Oaks has it. And Oaks trying to find some room and is able to get up to around the 30 yard line where the Blue Devils will take over first and 10. First half, the OFA Blue Devils able to run up 17 points. Have the lead 17 nothing. So they will go first and 10 from their own 30 yard line. Fennessey, handoff, Bromley. Bromley on the far side trying to find some room. And Bromley, gain of about four on the play. It'll be second down at six. Combination of Mark Blevins and Rick Bromley, as you get a look at Rick Bromley there, has worked very well for the Blue Devils. We'll call it second down and seven from the OFA 34. Blasco on the carry. And Blasco carrying a couple of Red Raiders along with him. And on the tackle for the Messina Red Raiders, Andy Thomas, number 43. And there is Bill Blasco. Blasco in the rushing department, 73 attempts for 396 yards. Two touchdowns. So the Blue Devils on the march as they pick up another first down. First and 10 from the 41. And <laughs> Bill Blasco on the carry and penalty flags all over the place and in the backfield. Boy, I hope we get a chance to see that one again on the replay. You'll have to notice in the backfield I think it was Rick Bromley. Got down into his stance and he got too far forward and tipped over. Watch in the backfield. And down he goes. <laughs> and the flags fly in and he knew it too. Just uh, tried to keep himself from moving and when he did he just keeled right over right there. <laughs> So it'll be first and 15 from the OFA 36 yard line. And uh, this time the OFA Blue Devils uh, penalty markers down and I'm sure this will be motion against the Blue Devils as they put uh, two men in motion. A little bit of the uh, CFL there, uh, Canadian Football League. But uh, the Blue Devils will be called for illegal motion as two men went in motion. So a bit of a confusion here, but the uh, Blue Devils will repeat first down. Now we'll wait and see. And the uh, down marker at, still at first down, but the scoreboard reads second down and 20. At any rate, the Blue Devils are at their own 31-yard line. Fennessy from the shotgun. Handoff goes to Mark Blevins. Blevins gets across the 30-yard line out to around the 31-yard line. And it will be 
second down for the OFA Blue Devils. You get a look at the Messina defense. Just underway here in the third quarter. 9.29 remaining to play in the third. 17 to nothing our score. And it looks like the officials have called a timeout. Apparently an equipment adjustment there. Number 89, that is Marty Thomas for the Messina Red Raiders. Fennessy back, looking downfield, and the pass is caught by Blevins. Mark Blevins on the reception gets back an awful lot of yards there for the Blue Devils. And in on the tackle for the Messina Red Raiders, number 89, Marty Thomas. So a big gain there, Mark Blevins. And Blevins gets it all the way out to the OFA 45 yard line, or 44, so it'll be third and seven. And the pass, and a penalty marker goes flying in. And it may be pass interference. And it may be going against Andy Thomas, number three. 43 for the Messina Red Raiders, and we'll watch it again on the replay to see who the guilty party is. Fennessy back to pass, looking for Bromley, and no. The interference will go on number 35 for the Messina Red Raiders. That is Brian McDonald. So, on the pass interference penalty, that will march the ball up to the Messina, 41-yard line, first and 10 for the Blue Devils. And the handoff, Bill Blasco on the carry. And he is met there by a whole load of Red Raiders. Tom Lacombe is in there on the tackle along with Thomas. And John Rochford at the bottom of the pile, and there is Bill Blasco. Blasco uh, on the defensive side of things. Second in the NAC with 84 tackles. Just behind foot of Canton with 94. Second down and seven. On the carry, Fennessy on a keeper. Maybe a couple on the play. So it will be third and four. Seven oh three remaining to play in the third quarter. the long snap count. The give is to Blevins. Blevins up the middle and Mark Blevins across the 20 almost out to the 15 yard line and Mark Blevins having another super evening for the Blue Devils. So Blevins on a big carry another first down for the OFA Blue Devils so this drive very much alive for OFA. Fennessy to Bromley. Bromley turns up field, shakes one tackle, then another, and they finally bring him down. So Bromley does not want to go down, but uh, finally does. John Rochford in on the tackle along with number 31, Ryan McCarthy for the Messina Red Raiders. 
And the Red Raiders decide to call a timeout. 6.04 remaining to play in the third quarter. And our score, OFA 17. And the Messina Red Raiders nothing back after this. 5.56 remaining to play in the third quarter and our score 17 to nothing and the Blue Devils have advanced the ball again while we were away. And the ball is down to the one yard line. So it'll be first and goal to go. From the one yard line and the OFA Blue Devils threatening once again here. Tennessee, the handoff, Bill Blasco up the middle. And he's in for the touchdown. So Blasco breaks the plane. And that will make it 23 to nothing in favor of the OFA Blue Devils as Tom Austin will come on. And Bill Blasco, a game he is having. Coca-Cola player of the game will be tough to hand out in this one. Tom Austin in to try to make it 24 to nothing. And the kick is up, and it is good. So the score with 540 remaining to play in the third quarter. 24 to nothing, OFA over the Messina Red Raiders. And here again is the touchdown of Bill Blasco. And Blasco able to get across the line before they pushed him back. And he is in for the touchdown. And then Tom Austin came in and added another point to it. And it is now 24 for OFA to nothing for the Messina Red Raiders. Once again, a program note. Don't forget, lots of soccer playoff action in both girls and Boys High School Soccer. We'll have it for you here on Edwards Production Sports. And we have some great playoff matchups in store for you. You won't want to miss out on that. And also, we will continue our coverage of NAC playoff action. As we said, the other game going on in Tier 1, Potsdam and Watertown. Winner of this matchup will meet the winner of that matchup. On the sideline, 43, Andy Thomas. Looking for a little refreshment. So Tom Austin will tee it up. Once again, the Blue Devils have the lead, 24 to nothing over the Messina Red Raiders. They will kick it off. And again, a line drive that takes a hop. Rochford is able to handle it from the 10. Rochford timing it correctly. John trying to find some room across the 40. Gets out to around the 44-yard line. So a great run back by number nine, John Rochford. And that little stutter step in the beginning before he picked up the ball at the 10-yard line delayed just long enough. Apparently, he saw something happening in front of him. And it cleared the way for him to go up the sideline. John Rochford. And we've seen uh, John come in and be a quarterback uh, in the game tonight and throw pass to Ryan McCarthy, even though it was incomplete right at the end of the first half. And we have a quarterback change, and we'll give that to you in a minute. Drew Wonky on the carry. And in for the Messina Red Raiders is Mike Flynn now, number 14 at quarterback for the Messina Red Raiders. That'll be second down and eight from the Red Raider 40. Well, we'll take a look here. From the Red Raider 45 yard line, it looks like. Land the handoff, but he is. 
ball carrier met immediately. Andy Thomas on the carry. 4.36 remaining to play in the third quarter. Well, the Red Raiders mixing it up a little bit. A little change in personnel out there. Third and nine from the Red Raider 44-yard line. And back to pass is Flynn looking to the near sideline, and I believe it was intercepted, and it was. Number 21 for the OFA Blue Devils, Eric LaHue with the interception. Oh, the Red Raiders, even with the change. Pass and intercepted by Eric LaHue. Well, the ball will be spotted at the OFA 45 yard line. 4.05 remaining to play in the third quarter. Tennessee, the handoff, Bromley on the carry, and Bromley has chased down good defensive play by the Messina Red Raiders there. And in on the tackle for the Messina Red Raiders, it appears to be looks like number 69 out there, Mike Vilnave in on the tackle for the Red Raiders. So it'll be second down and 13. Loss of three on the play. Clock continues to run, 325 remaining in the third quarter. Bill Blasco on the carry. And Blasco out to the 50 yard line. Pick up of eight on the play, so it'll be Third down and about, uh, like third and about five to go. It is still fantasy at quarterback for the OFA Blue Devils. Oaks comes to the near side. Fantasy. Looking downfield and tries to hit number 33, Jay Fennessy, on a crossing pattern. And is unable to do so as Fennessy unable to hang on to it. Good uh, defensive play in the secondary by the Red Raiders. 2.31 remaining to play in the second quarter. It'll be fourth down for the Blue Devils. And Tom Austin drops back to kick it away. And John Rochford drops back for the Red Raiders. And the kick is away. The Red Raiders putting a lot of pressure on Austin. And it takes a Red Raider bounce. And Adam Shaver downing the ball at the close to the 35-yard line of the Messina Red Raiders, and that is where they will take over, first and 10. And they move the ball up a little bit more, so it'll be at 36. A brisk but gorgeous evening here at Augensburg Free Academy. A handoff. Andy Thomas on the carry. Thomas, a uh, pickup of about five on the play. It'll be second and five. And Tim Cook in on the tackle with John Caulfield. Austin in on the tackle as well. Now we'll call it second and six from the Red Raider 40. And the handoff there. 
And good pursuit by the Blue Devils. Andy Thomas on the carry, but up in on the tackle. Tom Austin. Red Raiders uh, down by a score of 24 to nothing as the clock is down to 120 remaining to play in the third quarter. Flynn, back to pass, looking. Pressure is coming, Flynn decides to keep it on the far sideline. And John Caulfield in on the tackle. Flynn able to pick up about maybe three on the play. So it will be fourth down and the Red Raiders will have to kick it away. Dropping back deep is Bobby Oaks. And it's a fake. Rochford decides to take off with it. And Rochford has the first down. So a little chicanery by the Messina Red Raiders as Rochford keeps it and picks up the first down. So Big call by the Messina Red Raiders, and John Rochford gets the job done. And anytime John Rochford does get a hold of the ball, he is dangerous himself. So a big play for John Rochford with two seconds, one, and that will do it for the third quarter. So we have played three here at Augensburg, and our score, the OFA Blue Devils, 24. And the Messina Red Raiders, nothing. Back with fourth quarter action right after this. Dillingham Jones & Sissel is a family-owned and operated insurance business that's serviced the community of Ogdensburg for over 100 years. We offer a full line of insurance coverages through many national companies such as Allstate, USF&G, Royal, New York Casualty, and Selective Insurance Company, to name a few. Stop by and see our friendly staff at 402 Ford Street, Ogdensburg, or give us a call at 393-2190. Dillingham, Jones, and Sissel, because things happen. Mmm, can you smell it? Kentucky Fried Chicken, now oven-roasted, tender-roast chicken, and the Colonel's original and extra crispy chicken. And how about their chunky chicken pot pies? And don't forget the fixins, coleslaw, mashed potatoes, potato wedges, and choose from cornbread, garlic bread, or biscuits. Friendly service, a convenient drive through or eat in their beautiful facility. Backed by popular demand, Buffalo-style wings, hot and mild. Kentucky Fried Chicken, 232 Main Street in Messina. They do chicken right. Fourth quarter action from Augensburg Free Academy. Red Raiders, Jason Monticelli on the carry. And a good game for Monticelli. Jason gets it across the 45 up to the 44-yard line. So the Red Raiders uh, via John Rochford's keeper on the fake punt, able to obtain a first down. It'll be second down now. And six from the OFA 44-yard line. Handoff. Here's Rochford on the carry. John trying to find some room. And a hard hit there, but Rochford able to hang on to it. Rochford gets across the 35. There is John Rochford. For the Messina Red Raiders. And he's rolled things right along for him here in this the end of this third quarter, at the end of the third quarter in the first part of the fourth quarter. First and ten for the Red Raiders. Monticelli on the carry. Be a yard or two for Jason on the carry. Well, 
fourth quarter action if you're just joining us. As you look at Jason Monticelli, Messina Red Raiders. Jason, third in the league and rushing, 90 attempts for 600 yards, seven touchdowns and averaging 6.7 yards per carry. High formation for the Red Raiders. The pitch comes back. Rochford shakes one tackle. Uh, John Caulfield is able to tackle Rochford and bring him down. It'll be third down and eight for the Messina Red Raiders. They move back just a little. Third and nine now. Ball is sitting at the Red Raider 33-yard line. Flynn is back to pass, looking for Andy Thomas. And that one is tipped there, and Garrett Watts is almost getting himself a football. Andy Thomas, there you get a look at Andy, the intended receiver for the Red Raiders. Andy, a senior. Some of these Red Raider players we'll see later this season when Edwards Production Sports coverage of high school hockey action gets underway. Fourth down, Red Raiders going for it. Flynn back to pass, looking downfield. And it's caught. And in on the reception, number 88, Nate Smythe for the Messina Red Raiders. So Smythe coming up with the grab. And a super catch by Nate Smythe of the Red Raiders. So they pick up another first down, the Red Raiders do. And the ball is spotted at the OFA four yard line, three yard line. That'll be first and goal from the three for the Red Raiders. Flynn still at quarterback for the Red Raiders. And the handoff goes to Andy Thomas and Thomas not too much on that one there. Maybe a loss of a yard on the play. And in on the tackle for the OFA Blue Devils, John Caulfield. And we'll get a chance to look at that beautiful catch by Nate Smythe. Flynn back to pass. Smythe in deep coverage is still able to get it. And Garrett Wassis wondering if he had his pocket pick there. A beautiful catch by Nate Smythe. And the handoff goes to Drew Wonky. And a stubborn OFA defense at this point in the ball game. So it will be third down. Ball sitting at the two yard line. So the Red Raiders are threatening here with 7.39 remaining to play in the fourth quarter. Play in the handoff, Andy Thomas. And Thomas near the goal line and it will be fourth down and Tim Cook getting up rather slowly but uh, John Caulfield helping him back up but uh, fourth down and the ball sitting about as close to the goal line as it can possibly get well being over and 
completion by somebody on the line for the Messina Red Raiders. And that will march them back five yards. So a tough break here for the Red Raiders. And we'll watch it once again. We'll see who moves. And there it is right there. And it's number 73 for the Messina Red Raiders. And uh, Steve Gardner trying to get his block in immediately. Flynn is rolling out, looking in the end zone. And Jason Monticelli on the reception, but he's shy of the goal line. So the OFA Blue Devil defense comes up big here and stops the Red Raider drive. Flynn rolling out, uh, looking for Jason Monticelli. Monticelli getting it, but unable to get into the end zone. And there is Tim Cook for the OFA Blue Devils. But a huge defensive stand by the Blue Devils. But the bad news is they are deep in their own territory. First and 10 from their own one yard line. Trying to get some uh, running room for the Blue Devils. Mark Blevins on the carry. And we'll take a look at that uh, pass from Flynn. There it is once again. And the fake, Flynn rolls out looking for Monticelli. Jason wide open, but then he's met and stopped short of getting in for a touchdown. Clock is down to five minutes and 50 seconds as it has moved right along here in the fourth quarter. Second and six from the OFA five yard line. Pitch comes back to Mark Levins. Levins has a blocker out in front of him. Penalty marker comes flying in. And Blevins on the carry all the way out to the 25-yard line, but the penalty marker has been thrown down or back at the 10-yard line. We'll wait and see what the preliminary call is. Usually when you see something like that, you see an illegal use of the hands. And, oh my, a chop block. So, an illegal chop block by the OFA Blue Devils. And penalty, of course, marches them way back. Second down and eight. And the handoff. Mark Blevins on the carry. And it looks as if Blevins will have the first down. And he does. So Mark Blevins, again having a great performance here this evening, picks up the first down. That'll be first and 10 from the OFA 15 yard line. Fantasy still a quarterback. Handoff, Romley, looking for some room, coming around to the near side. Romley across the 20 out to the 22 yard line. And on the tackle for the Messina Red Raiders, Raiders, Ryan Dubray, number five. And it will be second down. And apparently, let's see, a penalty. So, so it'll be first and 10 and the penalty. Fennessy, still a quarterback, 414 remaining to play in the ball game. 
And the handoff goes to number 32, Tim Cook for the OFA Blue Devils. And that will march them out to about the 40 yard line. So it will be second down and seven at the OFA 40. They may move the ball back just a little bit, but it's very close to the 40 yard line. 3.30 remaining to play in the ball game. 24 nothing OFA up on top. And the handoff up the middle on the carry is R.J. Fields. And we've seen a little bit of uh, R.J. this season here on Edwards Production Sports. Had a chance to see quite a bit of him during the game against uh, the St. Lawrence Central Larrys earlier this year. We saw some limited action in the Malone Husky game here at OFA. First and 10 as the officials bring in a new football. Just shy of the 50 yard line. LaHue is in at quarterback. The handoff goes to Aaron Fryot. And on the carry. And on the tackle for the Red Raiders, number 34, that is Lucas Cussworth in there for the Red Raiders. Clock is down to two minutes and 44 seconds remaining to play in the ball game. Hope you're enjoying our telecast here on Edwards Production Sports, the leader in high school sports coverage. Second and 11 from the OFA 48 yard line. Lahue, the handoff. And R.J. Fields bursting through. And gets it into Red Raider territory. And ball is spotted at the Red Raider 45 yard line. So the Blue Devils making quite the progress here. Remember, this drive started way back at the OFA 1 yard line. LaHue on the keeper. And it looked as if LaHue wanted to hand the ball off to RJ Fields and Fields ended up going down so LaHue kept it. Tried to get outside and it'll be fourth down. So the punting unit comes on for the OFA Blue Devils. So they will kick it away. I have to wait and see, but it looks like Ryan Dubre is back to receive the punt for the Messina Red Raiders, and that is who it is. Austin, the kick, and it's a high kick. And Dubre is met immediately and loses the football. Blue Devils are celebrating. We'll have to see. Uh, Blue Devils may have it. And apparently it has been ruled out of bounds. The Blue Devils were celebrating a little bit there, so the ball uh, going out of bounds. There's a penalty marker that's been thrown. And this ball is coming back. And now it's going back up the field again. Well, apparently roughing the kicker was called. So the OFA Blue Devils keep their drive going. 46 seconds remaining to play in the fourth quarter. Shotgun formation, LaHue. 
Handoff. And on the carry, Greg Hollis. Hollis is ridden out of bounds. On the tackle for the Messina Red Raiders, number 32, Carlos Arias in the game. And number five, Ryan Dubre. Carlos Arias, now there is a real football name right there for you. Thirty-eight seconds remaining to play in the fourth quarter. And comes in motion. LaHue, the handoff. And a big defensive play there. In on the tackle for the Messina Red Raiders, number 45, Scott LePage. So it'll be second down and 15 as big defensive play by Scott LePage pushes the Blue Devils back. Clock is down to 12 seconds and still running. 10 seconds remaining to go. Blue Devils hurry up to the line. Of course, a lot of these fellows don't get a chance to play that often. Like to get the play off. And they do. And the handoff goes to number 23, and he's going to go in. Touchdown. Aaron Fryot takes it in. What a capper to this game. As the clock runs out, and the OFA Blue Devils put another touchdown on the board at the end of the game. So the final score here at Hogginsburg Free Academy, the Blue Devils 30 and the Messina Red Raiders nothing. Today's game has been brought to you by Coca-Cola, pure refreshment for the fans. By Kentucky Fried Chicken, Main Street in Messina. By Mark Backus and Sons, the difference a handshake can make. By Dillingham, Jones and Sissel Incorporated Insurance. And by the Bears Den, Trading Post and Truck Stop. And by Messina Chrysler. Well, coming up next, highlights of the game here on Edwards Production Sports and it was all OFA in this contest, 30 to nothing. And the first score of the game was a field goal by Tom Austin. Austin puts it up, and it's good. And then, Fennessy looking downfield and finds number 22, Rick Bromley. And Bromley taking a look at where that little pole was and was able to stay inside it for a touchdown. And then Bill Blasco. Going in for another touchdown. That made it 17 to nothing. And once again, the Blue Devils in once again, Bill Blasco. With yet another touchdown, his second of the game. And then at the tail end, deciding to really put a cap around things, Aaron Fryot going in for the score for the Messina Red Raiders. Our final score, the OFA Blue Devils 30, and the Messina Red Raiders nothing. And a big win for the OFA Blue Devils, and the winner of this contest will go on to meet the winner of the Watertown Cyclone Potsdam Sandstoner matchup here in Tier 1 as the playoffs continue here on Edwards Production Sports. We hope you enjoyed our telecast here from Augensburg Free Academy on camera tonight. Jason Denno. Chris Tabor as well. Our director was Chad Edwards. I'm Jamie Davis. So long for now from Augensburg Free Academy in Augensburg, New York.